to the game number one here. We got Tony Piyamas versus Piyamas. Kiwi. Uh, this is a I match I've actually not seen happen so far in this game's lifespan. I don't think I have either. You don't see, uh, you don't see Tony, I see this is very often, if ever. Yeah, well, th this is actually Tony's uh, first GBS event of the season. He lives on the far yeah, low yeah, west side of CT, so... Yeah, it's a, that is a hike and a half for them to make it down here. I just want to point out that someone compared clipboards after screaming to Sammy Classic Sonic fan, and I appreciate them for that. Wait, what? Someone compared clipboards after screaming to uh, Sammy Classic Sonic fan? A little kid who used to scream about Sonic on YouTube? Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's pretty accurate, and I agree with you. Thank you. Actually, that, that is very... <laughs> Someone else, someone else. I can't get Clipboard's image out of my head now of watching someone him just also screech. Call, someone also called him Tooth Cat, uh, tooth cat Bolt Cut Man. So <laughs> I appreciate all of you in the oh chat right God. now. <laughs> that man belongs to us. But all right, so Kiwi uh, and Tony keeping this very, very even right now. Uh, it, th this, is, this is the problem that Tony's going to have. Much like where Ling plays against Tony with uh, using the turnips to control his trajectory, Pac-Man's going to be doing the same thing with the fruits. Yeah, definitely. Her aim on the, on the Hydrant is so good. Really is. And also her ability to like play on defense against hyper aggro players is so good too. Uh, like Just having Nair and Fair out of shield so fast. But Tony right. capitalizing on her mistake right there, trying to go for said Nair. Going to get that back air. Ooh, decent Ooh. damage right there, 31%. Right that was nice. <gasps> Woo yeah, that, was almost, okay. that was almost rough. Like Anytime I see that PK Thunder coming back to, back to sender, I get worried. Go back to uh, Gak versus Anti. Oh, that yeah, that is an eternal smash uh, a clip right there. That yeah. that will live on in the history of this game. That man quite literally lost the like, he lost the match right there. <laughs> but he yeah. hit Anti. It's only gonna uh, decide to go for back throw instead of going for forward throw. Try like not really worried about stealing it. Just trying to keep Kiwi at the edge. Wow! <laughs> it is still baseball season, and Tony is hitting dingers. Gonna get that forward <laughs> smash on that uh, hydrant there. Like Sending the it. warmers over here. Hey, man, we were talking about return to sender before, and uh, look, there's a reason why commentators uh, aren't in play, man. We, we are actually just bench warmers. You're right. I mean, that's not what I was going for, but I mean, you're right, yeah. I'm sorry. It's a sad life. But anyways... <laughs> Tony really controlling uh, the way Kiwi's trying to get out of the corner too, just putting out safe enough hitboxes to stay grounded and punishing her when she's trying to act out of shield. That is so important against Pac-Man. Kiwi decided to go for the go for resources. I like the idea of going for that bell right there. Tony trying to send it back, but gonna get caught for doing so twice in a row, smiling it off too. This could be big for Kiwi if she can find herself one Galaga mix up or one decent combo. Pac Man. Pac Man is a, a hidden sleeper on how fast this character can put on damage. Yeah, you know, you're not wrong. Like a good item combo can do up to like 60, 70%. Yeah, see, yeah we've seen. Uh, there even it is, right there, yeah. falling uh, like a couple strings going back to 76. Apple. Gonna go for it. That's a very small lead here. I like how she threw the apple down too, because if Tony decided to come in and she made a mistake, the apple was gonna keep her safe. Yeah. Oh, trying he, to get <laughs> he wanted he wanted that that slick stuff. Yo, wins Marvel. He tried to use the, the the hydrant to get an assist there to bring him in closer. And Kiwi trying to get some op option coverage, not moving out of the position there. Up there, almost getting the hit. That would have definitely killed. Both of them doing a pretty solid job mm. on defense, but that forward smash should kill. Yeah. That move. That is a DLC move. That forward, forward smash, smash. That forward smash. Hurts. Yeah, that no, kills sure. really early for Tony. You know, lost the war of attrition, but definitely had a, a, the lead pretty much throughout the match. So yeah, wouldn't be too upset. But Kiwi gonna take game number one. Very good defensive play on her part there. That's like her whole thing. Is like she picks so well. Like like you were saying earlier, she can get aggressive and she mm -hmm. will get aggressive when she wants to. But mm -hmm. if she needs to and she th yep. thinks, hey, I need to start slow down, play defensive. She is so good at it. She's really good at very small bursts. She, exactly. won't, she won't go at you until she needs to make you scared of projectiles again. She'll intentionally just run at you, throw out a couple of those quick fares and nares, force you to start getting afraid of what might come, and get you to hold shield anticipating it, and then she'll go back to zoning. That's really frustrating to fight against. Yeah, she is a tough wall to break. Tony was breaking said walls down very well uh, as the match progressed, especially with those those forward smash uh, runbacks, like having a, a reflector is one thing, but with how strong that bat is, plus the reflector, you gotta be worried about that as Tony. 
I just noticed that Pac-Man's down air is just like discount snake down air. Yeah, <laughs> it, really, it really is. Both game plans very similar at that too. Long gameplay, uh, good defensive control, and stomping the yard. Like it's it's exactly the same. <laughs> Such a patient there. Oh, oh, oh my, it wasn't even the hydrant at the end of it all. Just sending everything back, packing. This kid is at work we doing his mail routes. That, that that forward is actually so good now I think about it after you pointed it out. Like being able to grab belt and also uh have that mini disjoint with that fair moving forward. Like, yeah, that's keep, that's forward that, move is, that move is stupid good. Are you like, kidding? Yeah, I know it's good, but like just I forgot how good it is at controlling um, item play as well. It's gonna force Kiwi to remain grounded as well as have to worry about throwing uh, items at the wrong time. There we go. Get a close. Oh, the back air. Okay, not gonna kill just yet. I think she was not confident in the the position where he was to go for off smash. Yeah, because I, I think it would have been a little bit too slow. Well, not even just that. It, like I know Kool Aid's in the chat right now. That up smash is tricky off of that bell in that position. Yes, you might yes just fall out. So decided to go for a DI mix up with back air. Oh, gets the apple is kind of lingering on the hydrant. That was interesting. Yeah, great closeout from Kiwi right there too. Able to bring this back into decent favor. Wow, she makes it up over the yo-yo. Uh, I am deathly surprised that she even got through that. Yeah, in me all too. honesty, that that yo-yo usually hits everything. Using the cherry as an option coverage tool, that was actually really smart. Racking up quick damage, starting to get close to uh, bringing this back to percent even. Yeah, confirmation from said late. He 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 knew exactly. Uh, why she would go for that instead there. <laughs> Pac-Man players don't exist. Um, I mean, that statement is just wrong. We're looking at one now. It's wrong. Or it's actually, you know what? You're right. It's actually Pit. What? Ask Kool-Aid about his Pit. Oh, yeah. Freddy. He plays yeah. a lot of characters, man. Yeah, no. Oh, trying to get oh, the answer that, up air. That, that hydrant was so clutch. Yeah, that was so important. Having an emergency escape option like that is so important. Kiwi trying to get um, Tony to stay in shield after that fire hydrant, maybe make it seem like it was going to go much faster than it was. I guess the should break in the hydrant. I like how Tony's just look. That is another time he's done that. I feel like he has to have some type of button layout. That is that causing that. That is unfortunate. Yeah, because he did that taunt earlier today, too, and I don't think that they're meant to happen. But <laughs> he taunt to his own self body mitt, but he's going to take out the stock anyways on Kiwi. I guess there's a little bar on Pac Man's stock icon. I've never seen that. I, I haven't either. I can't even tell what it is. Huh. Interesting. It's the dash, I guess. Uh, Ooh, forward into, oh, okay. A double up air, and you see, actually, that, that was probably way better for Kiwi because she was starting to try, she was trying to land behind Tony, and Tony was ready to let the PK Thunder 2 rip, but ends up taking only one hit. Up throw the up air, trying to get an anti air down smash uh, where he faded too, but I like the patience, just waiting to see if the Galago would hit on the back end, but didn't get the hit. <gasps> oh, <My heart>. Okay. <laughs> You don't see that move too often, but no, when it does no, come you do out, you, you, it steals the life away from you, quite literally. A Kiwi able to dodge it. Freddy's movement with the uh, magnet cancels are, is so fun to watch. Yeah, it actually, if you get one short hop one at the right angle, you can actually double it up and do another magnet hit cancel in the back here. So Kiwi has to respect that. That's the thing I see for a lot is people are just run up and jump and then just like stall and then be reverse it to the back air. Mm -hmm. That's a good option. It's great at calling out jumps too. Like if people are trying to they like recognize you being a little bit too aggressive, it's like, all right, cool. Now you take this, true combo in the back here. Dead, pretty much dead even right now. T Tony trying to find the one mistake. There it is. That's gonna do it. All right, eating this to set up. One one apiece. Very similar to the last game where Kiwi was able to close it out after a long match, but Tony finally able to catch Kiwi in a very rare uh, moment of aggro play off the ledge on recovery. Which was good because it was at the end. You don't normally anticipate that. Right. Fortunately for Kiwi, though, Tony was actually looking for it. Get to get the stock and uh, bring this to game three. Kiwi thinking uh, hard about where she wants to go for the stage. That match was very long, and I don't know if she feels comfortable with the idea of actually running it back to uh, uh, Battlefield right now. Excuse me, PS2.
I think the stage is working out for her. It's just, again, mm -hmm. Tony's calling out a lot of her uh, her uh, movement options. Yeah. Still very even. Like that. This is definitely one of the um, one of the more checkers rather than chess games we've seen so far today. Mm -hmm. Like they're both looking for that one single option. It just depends on who pulls the trigger first. Because their game plans are very similar. Like small baits, quick anti airs, rack up damage slow. Other than when Tony gets like double fares and not fares and such. Meanwhile, on the other stream, there is Blank versus Phantom. That is another great match going on. Make sure that you're watching multiple streams right now. Two, one, uh, getting into game number three here. Loser's top eight. Loser goes home right now. Both of them trying to move forward. And we have N64 music. Thank God. I love it. It all slaps. Every single piece. You're saying N64 music, but really, there's only one song that exists there and one life to <laughs> To still live. Okay, Kiwi's going to stay alive. Tony finally getting that PK Thunder 2 he's been looking for, but Kiwi with a bright DI keeping herself in the game. By the way, the other stream is great. It's just great value smash 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Great option coverage. Actually, Kiwi taking advantage of the fact that even though Tony could do many things with special moves with her item in hand, can't really act out of shield or anything okay, because of it, and that's going to lead to a stock loss. Well, I'll get the cross up on the forward air there. There you go, Kiwi deciding to go back, trying to catch Tony jumping in. She's been doing a good job of remaining grounded as the mat like as the stocks progress. Uh, Tony just taking so much damage off these just these single quick releases of these uh these items. Not even deciding to go for something big, just staying with the cherry, like realizing he's gonna come in. The That's bell? it. Oh, too slow on it. Yeah, it just barely missed. The stun increases as the percent goes higher. What's Tony gonna do? Just looking for one way to solidify the stock, but Kiwi not really putting her back to the wall, not trying to let a back throw be available. Alright, Sabi's back in. Works out for her. Very confident at, at that too. Like it's a risky yeah, that play. Was, that was that was some courage. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Nero dodge out of Tony, but Tony far enough away not to worry about anything. Kiwi content with just holding down the right-hand side of the stage right now. That is... See, I'm so... I, I've seen almost every angle that a Fire Hydrogen could go. I think that's the very first time I've seen it go at that angle. And it lingered so far in front. Tony not going to get hit by the apple. There we go. Finally, the anti here with the op air going to close out the stock. Our Hydra not going to kill just yet. Ooh, that was such a good patient option. Yeah, and it was a great option coverage tool at that. Throwing up that up that apple to not only cover the jump, but cover the landing. So you would have had to been forced to go to that corner because right. Tony couldn't commit to going in stage after that. Probably would have taken a back throw. She put herself in a place where if he recovered low, she's ready to jump and throw it off, throw it downwards mm -hmm. off stage. But just waited it out. Saw him going high, reacted, threw it upwards. Yeah, even though it may seem simple at first, a lot of things like that usually lead to option coverage, and that was a very good call from Kiwi. Now holding a very comfortable lead here at 42% compared to 43 on the last stock for Tony. I think this FD pick right here just is working out from spades for Kiwi. I'm kind of surprised that he even let her get uh, FD to begin with. But right now it's kind of showing why. Ooh, there we go, Did throwing it, again, it up yeah. again. Covering so much that time, it wouldn't have come back down. And wow, no punish on that grab? Yeah, jabbing the other way. That, that's pretty unfortunate for him. That falling out of the up air, too. Hey. This is not working for Tony at all. Ultimate, baby. Multi-hits suck in this game. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> There's so many problems with multi-hits. Ooh, Ooh, the back hit of up smash, not going to kill just yet. Yeah, and that was actually the first time he's really gone for like a, a stutter step mix-up, too. Throughout the set. He's been stuttering almost consistently with that um, that. Side magnet, that's the one. Yep, that's gonna do it. All right, Kiwi up 2 1 now. She's pretty confident in this. Yeah, hey, she, had, you see, like, she's just kind of just keeping, like, the same focus, same face, not really getting excited nor, like, get flustered by anything that Tony was doing. Because Tony was trying to play patient yeah. to get her to come in. But on FD against Pac Man, there is zero reason <laughs> for Pac Man to approach you. Pac-Man could set up her, uh, a wall much the, uh, similar to that of, like, say, C4. Yeah. 
Like, even though it may not be the same, just being able to just stay back and hold position and hold ground is so important. Much better stage pick, I think, for Tony here. Going to Smashville. Much smaller range. Even though the ledge traps are pretty decent for Pac-Man, able to get uh, multiple combo resets and not having nearly as much ground to cover. Oh, he jumps right over that orange. You haven't seen him using uh, PK Thunder off stage very much either. Yeah, he's so. also been using it as a way to stop when she's been zoning him out in center stage. Did, did it just use a, a uh, jump out of the trampoline? The PK uh, Thunder? Uh, yeah, when you you can hit um, the, uh, the the life out of the up B now. Oh, right, the, okay. I knew that. <laughs> trying to hit the light off for Kiwi right there, going for yet another forward smash. Oh, up, up smash. Not going to port her into the hitbox. He's able to knock it out. And that up B, well, albeit very fast, going to put her in an unsavory position. That up air finally going to take it out. Shout out to your boy Slider. Oh, yeah, we got That's right. Saturday night, baby. Saturday night here. We don't get to see this on weeklies anymore. The fourth smash is going to force Tony back off stage. Trying to put on a show for everybody. Oh, that was the right call from Tony. She knew an air dodge was coming. She just yeah. didn't guess right. Oh, he had the right oh, idea yeah. again, but just barely missed spaced it, and that's going to cost him yet another stock. Diff Actually, excuse me, cost him the first stock. Yeah, Kiwi's slowing this down so much. Mm -hmm. And this is what she does. As matches progress, she'll wait for that burst like we talked about at the beginning. Slowly play the game. There's no reason to overcommit because you're just asking for trouble, especially against a combo character like Ness where it, he needs you to come to him so he can get an anti air on C and up air to, or excuse me, forward air to rack it up. Okay, I, I can rephrase. I just saw her use get up attack. That move is huge. This goes so far. No, it has a terrible get up attack. Snake. That is very true. That, is, that, that move is actually buns. Uh, nice close up on KK. Everybody enjoying the party. Nice. Kiwi starting to slowly bring this damage back in place. This is one of those short aggro times. Oh, just barely missing the hard hit from that down smash. Tony trying to find his footing. There we go. Finally getting himself back to center stage. What's the call from Tony here? Uh, deciding to go try and handle that fire hydrant, but Kiwi taking advantage of him for it. Tony just holding his ground, not jumping too early. And not confident what he could do with the parry. The back throw is not going to take it just yet. Barely living. Oh, but the Pika Thunder is actually going to kill up the top. Yeah, there we go. Now, you were talking about not using Pika Thunder's off stage, but in the air, that is yeah. stress inducing. It's so hard to land against in this game. The Kiwi decided to go back. It's like, all right, I, I don't want to go boxing with him center stage right now. Let me go and get ahead and get an item I can use. Are we going to get the bell again? Tony forced to drop low in. Oh, wow, that actually beat it out. Yeah, no, that that move has hefty priority based on what you're dealing with. That is such an odd angle, and actually, usually that sends much higher. And there's that up smash yep. fallout I talked about earlier. It's so weird. It's like an old scoop. It scoops kind of like Martha and Lucina up smash, just mm -hmm. not very well. And Tony's gonna have to deal with the fact that uh, somebody at the local construction company is throwing her on fire hydrants. That's going to be a stock loss yet again. Tony now down to his last stock. Kiwi has been really winning on the War of Patience, but so far, he at least has a percent lead. There we go. Keeping her trapped at the ledge. And here's a lot of those PK Thunders off stage you were talking about. He wasn't using before. And look how much damage he was able to get off and exactly. actually led to his victory. I'm saying, I feel like it, he wasn't using it quite enough. Against Pac Pac-Man's recovery is long, but it's kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Like, catching it out is not too hard. It's just something like as fast as PK Thunder. Yeah, and it's not too often you see Kiwi kind of show emotion when it comes to a set. She's usually very confident and, like, very very calm in the way she plays. Yeah. But you saw at the end, like, her eyes were bulging. Like, she's like, mm -hmm. because that's very, it, that's annoying to deal with. It's so frustrating. Like, you just took so much damage for the sake of just trying to make it back. Well, Tony never committed off stage once. And I think Tony's going to have that in his head now. Like, all right, that worked. She's probably going to try and recover early next time. Now I can maybe go off stage to get a Nair and then reset her up for upbeats. And yeah, the entire idea is just get that free damage where you can. If it ain't right. broke, don't fix it. Just a small detail I just noticed uh, how close this essay has been is the little uh, stock counters above the, uh, the player icons. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 55 and 53. Like, the games have been that close all day. Wow. Yeah. And this set in general, it's uh, very much kind of similar to what we saw out of Ling and Pauka. 
Like, yeah, you know, like, exactly. Like, it, Polka, in this situation, kind of being Kiwi, where Kiwi's trying to set up those traps, and Tony just trying to navigate his way through, and able to bring this to Game 5 after really just walking through a maze of Kiwi's traps. I think we're seeing a little bit more of that Kiwi gameplay where it's a bit more aggro than normal, trying to get that early damage, get an early lead to make Tony have to commit because really Tony hasn't had a reason to outside of um, when she's made small mistakes. Oh, com comboing off to Apple on the double up area, taking the percent lead. I did not even know that you could do that. I didn't either. I was wondering if you <laughs> I know quite a bit about Backman's, but you learn something new every day. Kiwi deciding to go. There we go. There's the bell. The up smash That's that good, time yep. is going to work. Using the Galaga to cover her uh, her options there. I mean, really timing out that invincibility. That's so important because Connecticut is full of a lot of aggressive people off the Angel platform. Yes, yes it is. And Tony's swinging for the fences quite literally right now, trying to catch one of these projectiles with that forward smash, as well as the, the side beast. He's really hoping Kiwi approaches, but because of the stock lead, she doesn't really need to. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was going to break it. I'm actually surprised that Nessa's Force Match doesn't break the Hydra. It, it, it seems like it should outright. Yeah. It, it reflects hard enough. It's got plenty of bounce back there. But apparently on stationary objects. Good at fastballs, but not good okay. at... Oh, that could have get it. Oh yeah, God. he is. That's that, one, why I, that one's straight up. The moment that Kiwi committed to trying to do something outside of like an air dodge there, pretty much was just going to have to take that. Tony had that perfectly set up and didn't even, like you said, didn't chase or anything. Just went straight up. Meanwhile, the Tony taking yet another big percent deficit here after finally able to close that sock out. I could pressure with the uh, forward air and up air. Got some up air actually seems really good. Mm -hmm. I don't see it too often from that, I don't think. Yeah, I think a lot of this, though, like it's now finally playing in what Kiwi was setting up before, playing aggro a bit at the beginning to force Tony to like try and like read a nair or a fair out of shield, right? But now she's holding shield, waiting for him to commit, and look how much damage she's gotten because of it. Yeah, and it's like I was saying earlier, it's just like we were seeing between uh, Ling and Pelka. It's like, a, it's like an aggressive fight for the lead, and then just slowing it down immediately mm -hmm. after. Yeah, drop down, Fire Hydra, get a keeper safe. Actually, good delay as well, on which she's finally decided to let that Fire Hydra go. There we go, this is what Tony needs, finally getting some average coverage. And Kiwi keeping herself cornered against the wall. The PK Thunders we were talking about before. Tony almost getting the ants here, but uh, because of the fact that Kiwi's had to commit, get to get the stock. Forward into the Hydrant. That was clean. Kiwi taking the lead back. That was a good uh, idea after Kiwi realized she made a mistake with that trampoline. Went in instead. That way, no matter what, she could have gotten herself away from a punish, but Tony gonna not let that lead get far away. Zero to zero. Last stock right here on game number five. One of these two going home right now. Actually, not true for Kiwi. If Kiwi loses, uh, she's, she's stuck here with me. But Tony, <laughs> Tony on the other hand, Tony trying to find his way into uh, the next round of bracket. Kiwi on the, uh, doing a good job once again, setting up the wall. Landing right into the embrace of Ness. One of the last things you want to do is give Ness as, uh, some free grabs, especially at last percent. Oh, gets the jump call. Okay. Tony almost taking that stock, but Kiwi living just a little bit longer. Into the up air? Oh, I saw, I saw an up air. Yeah, he actually looked like he was waiting for that defensive option, too, <laughs> and gets kicked into her own fire hydrant at the end of it all. What a that, way to go. That was so important for Tony to take that fire hydrant out in the midst of it because if not, she was going to get by. But Tony's going to move on. Kiwi's going to go down at seventh place here at Retro Rumble 2019. It was a very 